first mocks are all about capturing the energy of the pose. I want to be especially fast, loose, and organic with these first few mocks. And although I do want to suggest things like the general placement of the figure, I'm primarily concerned with representing the dynamic energy of the figure. That's what these first few marks are all about. As soon as I do that, I start to build off those initial lines. And I'm just suggesting broad areas of the figure, nothing too exact at this stage, just slowly forming general areas of mass. And notice how I'm holding the pencil, not like I'm writing a letter, but loose in my hand, and I'm barely pressing into the page. I'm keeping all my line work really light at this stage because I want it to be modifiable. I want it to be uh, something I can change as the drawing evolves because in a big way I'm assuming that all these initial lines are mistakes. I'm not, um, I'm not trying to or assuming that I'm, I'm getting the exact figure at this stage in the drawing. Once I have some of the figure masked in, I'll transition to block in the form. And by blocking in, I mean using straight lines to carve out a simplified contour. So instead of trying to go right into drawing all the subtle curves that make up the edge of the figure, I'll start by reducing all those subtle curves to simplified straight lines. So as I do this, I make a point to continuously move around the figure. I try not to get stuck in one spot. Instead, I develop the whole figure all at once. I let myself slow down a little, but ultimately, I still want to be moving pretty fast at this stage. And you can see I'm, I'm still trying to be very light with my mark making. I'm only getting dark enough to see my new lines over top my initial lines. Because my goal is ultimately to just slowly realize the figure, to slowly move from less correct to more correct. So I'm really still just assuming that all these lines will be modified slightly, that they're all still, in one way or another, uh, mistakes at this point. As I proceed with the blocking, I'll start to make my straight lines more precise. So you can see I'm still forming the figure with straight angular lines, but they are less broad and all-encompassing. They're getting smaller and more specific to the form. And I'm using these lines, um, these center lines of the figure, building the edges of my block in by referring back to these center lines. You can see that sometimes I hover with the pencil from the center line to the edge of the figure, and I'll usually do that while I'm looking back and forth from the model to my drawing. And so by hovering the pencil from one area to the next as I look back and forth, I can do these kind of quick checks to compare uh, my placement of lines with what I'm observing from the model. As I get more confident with how my figure is developing, I'll get darker with my mark making. I don't want to get too dark, but I want to get dark enough so that the true edge of the figure, the, the true contour, begins to emerge from the many lines I've previously laid down. And I'll also start to shade in some of these broad areas of shadow. Uh, not really rendering the figure, but just establishing these uh, large shapes of shadow once I feel like I've got a decent idea of about where they are. Uh, but still keeping my line work light to allow for any modifications in the future. That quick circle I just made was meant to suggest where the knee will go. And by suggesting the placement in this way, I'm sort of laying down these trail markers that are going to help me find my way. And let me pause and repeat that last mark I just made under the arm across the body to the top of the opposite shoulder. There, what I'm doing is seeing if my drawing is lining up in the same way as what I'm observing from my figure model. And I'll continuously be checking my drawing uh, in similar ways as I go.
And although there is a general progression from one step to the next, it's not completely linear. By that I mean that I might go back to making really loose organic marks and then jump forward to filling in a shadow area. In general, I'm going to move step by step from organic marks that I made at the beginning, those high energy marks, to uh, broad straight lines, to more specific broad lines, then to shading in areas of uh, shadow. But it's important to not get too formulaic about the process. Every drawing is going to be a little different than the last. And in a dynamic pose like this, it's almost certain that the figure is going to move slightly over time. And that any areas of more intense strain are going to change just due to the model being human. Uh, in this case, the raised arm is under a lot of strain as the model holds a rope and leans back against it. So I can be pretty certain that the arm is going to shift position considerably before the drawing is finished. But that's okay. I can use that to my advantage by having two or even three arms drawn in as uh, variations. This effect, known as pentimenti, doesn't just uh, resolve our problem of the figure changing, but it can add a lot of life to our drawings. At this stage, I'm just going back through the drawing, trying to modify each area to be closer to the truth of the figure. I'm still moving around a lot because uh, I don't want to get too locked into one area. Uh, I want to continue developing the figure as a whole. And I'll start to put in the core shadow lines, but only just suggesting where they are. I don't want to get too dark with these core shadows yet. So let's review the basic steps I took. I started with a foundation that was just a few fast lines meant to express the energy of the figure's pose. I then began to build my figure by massing in broad areas all at once, still using some rounded organic lines at this phase and then moving on to more angular lines. I continuously moved throughout the figure, not getting bogged down in one place, and I made sure to establish where I thought the center lines of the figure were and built from the center out. So if you remember nothing else from this quick tutorial, I think the gesture drawing and blocking in the figure can be boiled down to two key things. Keep a loose grip on the pencil and continuously move around the form. I hope you all like this quick tutorial I made. My goal here is to help you get better at drawing and painting. So if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.